right when I finally got to the point where I wanted to leave this existence or get rid of this feeling, I said to myself, just in case if I do die tomorrow, um, people know the DMC story. They know what I did with Run and Jay, you know what I'm saying? Everything that Run DMC did. You could Google us, you could Wikipedia us, um, there's two books on us, there's a behind the music. So you could find out what I did as DMC. But I was like, nobody knows about the little boy, Daryl. Daryl McDaniels from Hollis, Queens, who is no different from any of all the other little boys and girls and people in the world. So my publicist and my manager who knew something was wrong with me, they was like, keep them busy. They tried to keep me doing interviews, try to keep me attending events or like, what not like this. So I go, I want to write a book. And then the book, you know, they get happy. Oh, he's going to do something constructive because they knew I was bugging out. So in the book, I wanted to say, yo, what's up, world? I'm Daryl McDaniels, but you know me as DMC from the groundbreaking rap group Run DMC. You know, first to go gold, first to go platinum, first on the cover of Rolling Stone, first with the sneaker deals, all that corny stuff. But I'm really Daryl McDaniels from Hollis, Queens, New York. I was born May 31st, 1964. And when I got to that point of identifying who I was, I was like, okay, I know my birthday, but I don't know any details. So I said, let me call my moms up to get some more information and make it more interesting for the reader. So I called my moms up. Hey mom, how you doing, what's up? Um, I'm writing this book, I know my birthday's May 31st, 1964, but I just wanna know a couple of more details. How much do I weigh, what time I was born, what hospital? She told me those three things, hung up the phone. I'm getting the information together to give it to my publicist so we could give it to the writer and they could put the, you know, put that information in the book or whatever. An hour goes by, the phone rings. It's my mother and my father. Hey, son, hey, dad, hey, what's up? Um, we have something else to tell you. So I'm thinking it's going to be nostalgic or something trivial or whatever, you, what, you know, something like that. They go like this. Well, you was a month old when we brought you home and you're adopted, but we love you. Bye. Click. Silence, just like that. And I'm on the phone like this. And all of a sudden, I hear the word adopted, 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 adopted. I was a good student as a little kid. I know what that word means. Right then and there, I knew my life was over. Because now, I'm already feeling this void. I'm already feeling like none of this Run DMC stuff is important. I'm already feeling like I want to kill myself and I'm, I'm going to jump. But now I'm really going to jump because I'm not even my mother's and my father's. And it was a total shock to my existence system. To my whole existence, it was a total shock. And I was living like that for days. The next couple of days after that was me figuring out how really should I kill myself. We were going. I said, I have to do something because there's a lot of people that probably feel like I feel. So I was like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a record to help people the same way Sarah McLachlan records helped me. So I called Sarah McLachlan back up. And um, I said, Miss McLachlan, remember when you met me three years ago? And um, she says, yes, I can never forget that. Um, you told me you was God. And I said, what do you want? And I go, well, I just found out that I was adopted and I want to make a song that's going to speak to people musically the same way your music spoke to me. And she says, cool. So I go, yeah, I'm going to bring you to New York City, whatever, whatever. She says, no, no, you could come to my house to make the record. So we go to Sarah McLaughlin's house, we make the record. Now, you got to understand why this story is important. Here I am feeling a certain way, feeling that I'm all alone. I hear Sarah McLachlan's music. For one year, I listened to the Sarah McLachlan song. I go to a party I didn't want to go to. I get to meet Sarah McLachlan. After um, three years go by, I meet Sarah McLachlan after three years go by. That's when I found out that I was adopted. I call Sarah McLachlan back up to do the song with me. She brings me to her house. It takes us two days to do the song. Before I left the house, she says, Daryl, there's something that I got to tell you. And I go, what? She says, I was adopted too, and I did not know that. that so that let me realize that whatever we are going through in life, although you may feel like you're alone and you're the only one, you are not alone. There are so many other people who are just like you. I got a saying, if you were, I don't mean for it to rhyme either. If you remove the guilt and the shame, you remove the pain. And because of this little um, circumstance and instance in my life, 
I realized by me being DMC, the mighty microphone master, by me talking about things that are not so happy in my life can help a multitude of people going through the same or even worse things than me. We should be open about how we feel and what we are going through regardless of how good or bad those things are. People approach me and tell me what they're going through and they give me things that help keep me alive to the next day. It's a day-to-day -day struggle. Whoever out there is struggling with anything, I just want to share my story as an example. It may help one person, it may be a little harder for the other. We all are on the same road, but there are different means of transportation down that road. I just want to represent whatever you're battling against. Depression, anxiety, alcoholism, whatever substance abuse, OCD, whatever it is. I am a living, breathing example that happens to rock the microphone better than many upon the earth that whatever it is that you're fighting, you can defeat. That's why I share my story. Yo, what's up? I'm DMC in the place to be, and I want you to know something. You matter, you're needed, and you rock.